flooding has a huge impact on people's lives, which is often very much underestimated unless you've actually been and lived through a flood event. I'm Sue Tapsell, I'm head of the Flood Hazard Research Centre here at Middlesex University. The Flood Hazard Research Centre really focuses on the relationships between people, water and the environment. We're very much interested in the societal aspects of flood management, hazard management, water management. So it's looking at the interconnectedness between people and, and the natural environment and how we can improve policy making in those areas to reduce the future risk from hazards, not just for us but also for future generations. My name's Carrie Parker and I live in Frankwell in Shrewsbury. The first time it happened, I'd never experienced anything like it before. Because it's your home, isn't it? And it's really important that once you come in and you've shut your front door, you feel safe and secure. And to have your home invaded by water can damage that feeling. This is the River Severn. Looks lovely, doesn't it? And quite harmless. However, once there's been a lot of rain in Wales, it can come up two metres in less than a day. The water starts to come up around the edges of the manhole cover there. It fills all the backyard. And when it comes over here, when it gets higher than this little step, it then begins to come in through the house. Our work spans from globally looking at climate change issues in Bangladesh back to government decisions and policy making at the national level in the UK down to the very sort of local level. Since the 1970s we've worked on developing a series of manuals um, which include data, methodologies for assessing those damages and for influencing decision making in the UK on building flood alleviation schemes. So over the last 40 years all the flood alleviation schemes built in the UK have been based on our data and our research. What we have here are the start of the flood defences, these two walls which were the first part that were put in in 2005-06. Before the defences were put up, the road was flooded, the businesses were flooded, the shops, everything, everything stopped. And of course now, that doesn't happen. Over the years, the research centre has been very influential, certainly being one of the first centres really focusing on the, the human aspects of flooding. It's a really important current area at the moment, so the fact that the university is, is focusing on those areas, I think, is, is a huge benefit. 